So a lot of people are leaving ClickFunnels and they're going to high level and you're gonna see for quite a few good reasons. And today we're gonna to go over those reasons why we made the switch and why if you're on the fence, this is probably the best video for you to watch. So stay tuned and go through the whole thing with us. I guarantee you're gonna get some good clarity of what you need to do after this video. So being completely transparent and honest, we were with ClickFunnels for a very long time, like six years combined between Andy and I. And I can tell you that ClickFunnels was great. The community was great. The software at the time was great. It was a really great alternative for some of the really poor software that was out there six years ago. Now, at the time, the communities and everything else and the courses that were being rolled out, it was just a great marketing experience altogether. Russell did a really good job instructing and teaching and everything else. But along the way, it has everything else, time changes and things will enhance and advance. And at the time, ClickFunnels was just not really advancing very well when it came to the software itself. Now, again, this is not a bash in the company. It happens to every single software out there. I mean, look at your phones. You know, you go from an iPhone to the flip phones back in the day. And then at some point, you know, there was a lot of phone companies that went out of business. It's just the nature of the way things work. Eventually, things will update and maybe this will not be the current software that we're choosing. But regardless of the fact, there are just some really mass comparison issues right now that it makes it very hard for the user to stay with ClickFunnels. Now, to be very clear, ClickFunnels, there is basically two two things that is holding everybody back. One is the pricing and the limitations on the software. And two is the amount of features and the direction of where features and marketing is going and how ClickFunnels is just not clipping up. Plus you got to understand the comparison of the tools, right? You're talking about ClickFunnels, which has a significant amount of users and it's had years upon years of collecting money and development in that. And honestly, it has not kept up. Then you look at High Level, which is a series A funded company, but it's still smaller in all kinds of comparisons. And it is advanced at a very high rate, meaning the amount of updates and things they're constantly doing is massive. The other thing that's really important is that high level listens to their community. There is a voting board where honestly, all the features that people want get voted on and those are the features that go forward. So talk about being very customer centric as far as the software, they're definitely winning and making sure that they're creating a quality product. But let's just kind of go over it to really understand what's happening. So if I go to ClickFunnels pricing, right? I'm in ClickFunnels right here. You have an annual plan and a 14 day trial right? You have your basic, which is $127 a month, but look at the limitations. You get one website, 20 funnels, three users, one domain, 10,000 contacts, unlimited courses and workflows and all this other crap. But like at the end of the day, like, okay, got it. Versus you come in here and they don't do a better job of advertising, but here's what I can tell you. Unlimited leads, unlimited users, unlimited domains, three sub accounts, meaning you do not only get one account, you get three other additional accounts. So if you have three different businesses, you can have one account at $97 and then have two additional on top of that. So if I'm running three businesses, this is definitely the thing to go because if then all of a sudden I'm in here in ClickFunnels and I have like, let's say three different domains for three different businesses, I'm already at a loss. Plus, what if I have 100,000 contacts, I'm lim now limited and I don't have 10,000, I have to move over to the pro. And that's if I pay yearly because again, this is the price normally $147 versus the 97 with the three accounts, unlimited funnels, unlimited domains, unlimited users, and I have access to a membership site and a whole bunch of features that I'm going to go over. And it's just, again, not a comparison. Now, if I come over here again if i go to the next plan which is 197 here it's the agency plan at 297 where you get unlimited sub accounts meaning if i have an agency and i want to put everybody under me meaning i want to have all my clients be under me and give me a fee for accessing my particular software i have now the ability of doing that so i can have an agency of like 30 customers all under me paying a monthly fee helping me generate revenue and now i have an agency kind of view to the same exact features that somebody would get at the 97 plan, which is basically creating a better and ultimate version of ClickFunnels. Now that, as far as features and comparisons and limitations, it's still incredibly large. Now, if you're thinking a bit that's just strictly on the money side and the features and limitations side, you already have high level as a clear winner. Now, here's the other thing, right? Here, if we went out the pro plan at the 197 in ClickFunnels, we're talking about one website, 100 funnels, five users, three domains, 25,000 contacts. Again, at the 297 plan of high level, all right, and that's if I don't buy the whole yearly, which I think I get two months free, I am again looking at API access so I can integrate pretty much everything if I know how to code and do all that or if I know how to integrate APIs. I have unlimited sub accounts, as many accounts, as many clients I want to put under me as possible, and then in turn I can charge them, and then I have a branded desktop app, but a custom domain and complete control over the look and feel 
feel of my own personal platform. I literally created a small little company version of anything that I need inside of there. And again, no limitations. And just going back to the $97 plan, if I was, let's say a person that creates courses and I want to create a gazillion amount of courses, I can, and I can create a million domains, a million different branded domains. I can do all of that and then in turn have it here. So again, incredibly smart in the sense of pricing. It's just a better option altogether. And that's not including what's not listed here, the 497 plan, which is a SaaS plan. Now here is where things get very interesting. At the highest plan of ClickFunnels, I have three websites. They put a limitation on websites is beyond me. Unlimited funnels now, which is good, but I only get nine domains, 200 contacts, which is okay, pretty fair. Unlimited courses, workflow pages, and all that pages, which is hysterical that there would be a limitation on pages in there. Again, not really loving that right now, right? We could share my funnels. We have analytics, somewhat analytics, because I've been then in there. The analytics are not that great. And again, maintenance mode, I don't even know what that is. And API access, great. But both have API access. Well, the 297 plan right off the bat is beating it because again, the limitations that are not there. And that is again at 497. Be very careful to read this because it's $280 a month at a discount. But if you go to the monthly, the 497 plan here in high level will get you again, the SaaS where you can now officially create your own SaaS white label version of high level that you can put a lot of people under. If you really look at these things, there's absolutely no comparison. Now let's talk about features, right? Here's where I get a little upset of what happens, right? Now this is only features in 2.0. So anybody stuck on ClickFunnels 1.0, you won't have half of this stuff. Sales funnels, websites, online courses, email marketing workflows, which is ironically funny that they didn't have workflows before. And they look incredibly similar to the one on high level, but they claim that high level is not a competitor. I don't know. We'll see about that. But anyway, landing pages, membership sites, global products, A-B testing, blog, customer center. Their A-B testing is actually pretty good. Their blog, their customer center, delay customers with their own personal customer center, which is kind of where we're going to communities inside a high level. Analytics, click funnels editor, drag and drop editor, which every builder has. The fact that they put it as a feature is pretty interesting. Countdown funnels, store funnels, smart checkout community, API webhooks, integrations, e-commerce store, which is coming soon. It is not even there. And if it is there, you guys haven't updated your site. You might want to think about doing that right now on top of this, right? So all those things they mentioned, there is very little AI integration as of yet. There is an API integration, but it is not has, I guess, open. We would want to call it has high levels because high level gives you access and has a very, very open API. Again, you're going to have all these limitations on courses, but let's just talk about the difference in features at the $97 plan at the $97 plan. And again, I don't know what the limitations are of these things because I don't know which ones you get and don't get, but I'm assuming, let's just assume you get all of these inside of ClickFunnels. In here, ClickFunnels does not have a calendar integration. For any local business doing any kind of business, your calendar is your bloodline. It, it's what you need to, in order to do business. If you're a coach, a same thing, you're going to need your calendars and all integrated in one spot where you can run automations is definitely a key feature. Again, why we came over is because we run an agency. We needed something that can withstand an agency kind of community and everything else to fully understand that. Opportunities. There is no pipelines. I don't know about you, but I like to see visually where I am with everything. And the fact that I can do that in high level versus click funnels is a really big deal. Now, when we're talking about payments, we just got payment links. There's invoicing, which invoicing last time I checked is not available in ClickFunnels. Sometimes you have to write an invoice. If you're a local business, sometimes you have to write proposals. The fact that they're developing in this area now, it's still pretty new. And the fact that it's coming along is just shows you the level of like, let's grow with our customers and addressing what the customer needs are. We got subscriptions in order, but the other thing is we have now payment links where we can correct direct links, send them a payment link and people can pay. Again, these are things that are just out there. Now we have integrations. We have NMI authorized on net and Stripe. Now, the crazy thing about what ClickFunnels was doing is they have this payment processor or this payment link kind of situation where you pay them an additional 1% and they will always make sure your payment goes through, even if it means utilizing other third-party payment processor. Pretty cool, but you're charging me an additional 1%. I don't know about you, but Stripe is already pretty high enough. If I do that and I'm not using authorized or NMI for third-party payment processing, that to me is not very lucrative. And the bigger I get, 1% means a lot. You got to think about $100,000, that's $1,000. And then, you know, Know, accumulate that on top of the three, four percent you're already paying. So a little thrown off by that. Again, I don't know if they changed that last time I saw the presentation, but that's just a little not to my liking. The other features that go along, right? We got marketing. We got a social planner in here for people that don't want to buy an additional fee. Now, is this the greatest social planner in the universe? It's not there yet, but the fact that it has it there and I can post on these social channels. And if I'm in a place where I can't afford another software and I just want to do everything in one, I have my solutions. And not only can you post on other social media channels, you can post inside of groups. But again, the fact that you can do that in groups, 
groups makes my job a lot easier. I run six different groups. If I want to post one thing, now I have to go back and post on six different tools versus posting in one. Makes my life a lot easier. The affiliate management here, I got to give it to ClickFunnels on this one. ClickFunnels has got a little bit better of a system right now, but this is up and coming and a very big focal area for high levels. So again, not the best in here, but it's slowly developing inside a high level while ClickFunnels has that down packed because they've been in the game for a lot longer. But again, they've been in the game for a lot longer. High levels just is starting into this process. They're already developing something that's pretty comparable and it's getting there quick. On top of that, we have the workflows. Now here's a differentiator in the workflows that I want to make sure everybody understands. High level's been doing workflows way longer than ClickFunnels has. Meaning ClickFunnels was really focused about funnel. It was great funnel software. It had that whole process in there. But when it comes to workflows, there's just so many more choices here. If you go into workflows, this is starting triggers alone. These are the things that you can actively do. Now, depending on what plan you're on, you have some premium triggers that you can access. Now, again, even at the $297 or the $497, you're going into this. The $497 plan is the main plan. Again, you get a discount the first year, but then you're paying $497. At the $497 plan, I get, I get that massive access. I get all these premium triggers. And on top of it, I get access with other things. For instance, if I come over here and I see invoicing, payment received, proposals and estimates, group access to the community, community feature that is being developed inside of high level. Again, we don't have communities inside of ClickFunnels and I don't even know if they are going to develop in that area. Shopify integration for abandoned cart, order place and order fulfilled, just in case I want to run Shopify store with high level. Lessons complete and you have tracking of what a member is doing inside of here and automations that can run on it. And then you have opportunity management as far as that pipeline that I talk about. Oh, and did I mention it already has TikTok forms for ads, Facebook lead forms, KPI integration, and LinkedIn form submissions from your ads directly integrated here. So if a Facebook form, a LinkedIn form, a TikTok form from an ad comes in, you automatically can start an automation directly in here. ClickFunnels just doesn't have that at this point in time, right? Then you have things like form submitted call events. Biggest feature here is what you can do with calling and what you can do with text messaging. It is wild. So here inside a high level, you can create incoming call interaction. And on top of it, with the introduction of voice, which is coming later this year, you're going to be able to do a voice response that is AI driven to respond and back and forth to customers. Don't know about you, but that is insane. On top of that, you have IVR access. For anybody that doesn't know what IVR, that's when you call a 1-800 number or any number and it says, press one for this, press two for that. Those systems alone cost thousands of dollars to set up and maintain. And now you have the ability of doing it in here, as long as you have text messaging enabled inside a high level. And it goes on and on and on. There are just so many things you can do inside. And this is only the incoming triggers, meaning that starting actions of a trigger of a workflow. Look at all the ones you have in here. When somebody, you want an action to go back. Everything from sending a Slack message to Slack, voicemail, Instagram DMs, manual text messages, Google My Business Messaging, because it integrates with Google Business Profile. So if you're a local business and you want to go back and forth with a chat on a customer, you can do it directly into this actual tool. And you got crazy things like conversational AI and check this out. Anybody into the AI space, you have right here, chat GTP. A lot of people inside of the software have created amazing systems that already have chat GTP integrated that goes back and forth with conversations. Absolutely amazing in that aspect. And on top of that, there is other functions like Eliza, which is our own booking bot that works off of text messages. You can generate one-time appointment links that you want to send to one-off customers, send proposals, Stripe one-time charge, all the conversions and Facebook APIs and Google connections that you could possibly think of for your Google ads and your Facebook, uplates to affiliates, all the things you ever think you would need. And it keeps on going. That's the best part that I would honestly say that high level has over ClickFunnels. The thing that frustrates me a little bit about ClickFunnels is a simple fact of high level is this kind of smaller company that just started out. ClickFunnels have been at this game. Fact that they have not kept with the audience demand and what the audience is looking for. That's what the frustration lies in. Like high level's excuses, they're growing company. They're kind of formulating, but they are keeping up while ClickFunnels has a significant amount of money and has yet to kind of develop these features going along, which doesn't make me really comfortable in that. That aspect. Now, I still love ClickFunnels. I love the community down there, but at some point in time, I believe that Russell will turn it around. It will just become a different company altogether. But in the meantime, it is just not keeping up with the standard needs of what businesses want. And more importantly, the AI kind of impact that 
everything is having it around it. Like high levels are so far in the game at this point that it's just gonna be really hard for ClickFunnels to catch up, especially if they haven't developed some of the things that they already said in 2.0 is gonna be better. Now, and I have a lot of friends and customers still in 2.0, and I can tell you the experience is not better, at least in our opinion. And again, for people that are just looking at value versus what you have and versus what you need, there is just a lot more things going on in here that is gonna provide ultimate value as things grow and decide. Now, again, still a brand new baby company. They're going through going pains, right? When you talk to support, support on both sides is still lacking a little bit, right? So ClickFunnels been around for a while. The support is okay. And I gotta be honest, like it was never great to begin with. That's what the community kind of arise. That's why there were courses on ClickFunnels. And honestly, high levels going through some growing pains. They're hiring a ton of people, but the people that are hiring are still new. So some of the older users like myself that have been in for five years tend to sometimes even know more of the people in there, but they have an excuse. They're still new and they're growing very exponentially versus ClickFunnels, you've been around for a while, Hey, and then the crazy thing is if you're at one plan, you get one kind of level of support on ClickFunnels. And if you're on another plan, you get a little bit better support. So again, that makes me kind of frustrated also because all users should be really getting as much support as possible, especially when answering some critical questions, right? But again, both on those levels, they really need help, but there's a lot of groups out there that offer third-party support. There's a lot of groups forming. There's a lot of organizations and the community inside of high level is also developing very rapidly with a lot of people willing to help. There's certified admins now coming out. I'm a certified admin. There's a couple of people that I know that are very good high level. They're also certified admins. So there's a lot of support growing in that aspect, right? They can get there fast and they're trying their hardest. While again, ClickFunnels have been around for a while, you know, again, pretty high up there in, in ClickFunnels of knowing what to do and how to do it. But even I needed support sometimes on things that I could control in the system, like all of us do. So again, on the support side, they're both kind of lacking, but let's keep going over the features, right? We're talking about sites. We got funnels, websites, blogs, which again, ClickFunnels has, but you're limited to one website until you get to the 497 plan. And then you get three websites. Here you get unlimited websites. You have WordPress integration, meaning you can host your WordPress site in here and you can manage it all in one place. We now have a client portal. A client portal is basically where your clients will go if they want to become an affiliates because this leads to communities, which is another thing we have in here. Forms and surveys, they have two. What they don't have is a chat widget. And now the chat widget has this incredible feature that you can have a live chat widget. So imagine intercom in your system at no additional cost pretty freaking wild if we really think about it. And we have our own URL redirects just like ClickFunnels does. Memberships, we now have communities, we have certificates and the community aspect is still new, still a little bit of growing pains there. There's obviously better systems out there that do it well, but th that's all they do. Like Circle, that's all they do. They do communities. And you know what I'm saying? Now, high level is coming pretty close because they keep developing communities and a lot of new features coming out and there's a team solely dedicated to enhancing communities. Reputation management, if you are a local business, this is for you. You have the ability of managing Managing everything in here, all your yes, like where you're listed, you can actually get a conditional service of yes, and you can have yourself listed on as many sites as possible. You can review your ratings of like where you stand on Facebook and Google and one additional kind of like Yelp or whatever it is. And what's crazy is you can come in here and they have listings where you can again, get yourself listed in all these different things. And it has premium backlinks and everything else pretty wild. Reporting coming along, but how cool would it be if you get basic, and I mean basic, reporting of your Google ads your Facebook ads, attribution, where stuff is coming from into here, call reporting if you're running a call center or if you're a local business or a high ticket coach, this is the place to be because if you can run your call center directly through here, again, still in the baby stages, but very, very good. Agent reporting, if you're running multiple agents, how they're all doing, you can run a leaderboard. Appointment reporting, how many appointments were kept, showed, no showed, canceled, and so forth and so on. So you can keep track of all this. And oh, by the way, there's an app marketplace. People are developing apps directly for this tool and you can engage and look into them all through here. Some of them are freed, some of them are paid, but honestly, this is insane. You have the mobile app, which again is the mobile app that you can just download, but this is kind of where it is. Literally, you can download it at any point in time and you have the mobile app on your phone. Very, very cool. You can answer incoming calls, respond to text messages, do everything you want to do in here. And there's a bunch of other add-ons and things that people can do that you can literally, if you have your own version of high level and you're very specific and you have a very specific need for your customers, they get a free course, whatever it is, like we do, we can put it right in here. Again, cost-wise, right? At the $497 plan, everything that I share with you, they are lacking. So when it comes to features and benefits, high level just happens to be a better deal right now. And again, the way they're developing, we're talking about kind of hockey stick 
chart development, meaning it's a straight kind of like curve up where they're just overly developing. They have certain teams dedicated to certain aspects. They constantly have a forum where they're listening to the community. And again, it's just growing and getting better every day. So it's just the right time to be in this place right now versus something that has a ton of money. A lot of people has been around in the game for a while, but is yet not developing at the pace it needs to. So again, this is our comparison. This is why a lot of people are leaving it because every time you go in, if you go into high level, Look at some of the faces that are here now. You got Billy Jean was in ClickFunnels for a very long time. You have Frank Kern and the list keeps on growing. Everybody came over from ClickFunnels and is doing really well over here. So again, just a very, very kind of strong idea for you guys to fully understand that. It's just the right time to be in this place. So if you haven't checked it out yet, click on the links below. We offer a free course for anybody that's interested to kind of get you up and running because it is such a complex system. It does have a little bit of a learning curve, but again, it's worthwhile because then you just can keep adding to it. And as more features get added, the more benefit comes up to you. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you want to see how this whole entire thing works check out any of our other videos and look into the tool and see all the cool things we can do with it. all right we'll see you on the next one